Hi, I'm Han Su Lee, co-founder of Magoosh. I recently had the great opportunity to speak with Scott Shapiro. Scott is an MBA student in the full-time program at the Haas Business School. Over the summer of 2010, Scott's interning at Facebook. In this three-part interview, I'm going to speak with Scott about how he went about his application process, his experience at Haas thus far, and his goals for post-graduation. I'm a firm believer that hearing other successful applicant stories is one of the best ways to get tips and tricks on how to go about your own application process. I hope Scott's story does just that. Enjoy. I'm Scott Shapiro. I went to UC San Diego, graduated in 2004, and studied computer science. And uh, most recently, I've been living in Los Angeles before I came to Haas. Cool. Um, and so what were you doing uh, before you came to Haas? So before I came to Haas, I was working for an early stage venture capital firm called Momentum Venture Management. And um, at Momentum, we were very hands-on, so we worked very closely with uh, companies in our portfolio beyond just making financial investments in them. So I felt that at Momentum, I was learning a lot of very valuable skills in running companies, but across a broad range of management disciplines, there were a lot of um, holes, and I thought that kind of a formal management education would help me do that so much better in the long term, filling in those gaps uh, beyond all the, the skills that I picked up on the job. Mm -hmm. Um, in, the, in the short term, um, living in Los Angeles, there's a very active venture capital community, but I really wanted to immerse myself in the Bay Area venture capital and startup ecosystem, which is much richer and larger. And so my immediate goal at Haas is to um, become a bigger part of that. So I wanted to go to schools that were very focused on entrepreneurship and had a kind of an emphasis on technology and so I narrowed that list down from you know, the top top 20 schools and narrowed that down to I think a handful, I think I applied to four or five mm -hmm. um, and so Haas was, was very high up on that list right away. Mm -hmm. Cool. Are you, are you comfortable sharing which schools you applied to? So I applied to uh, UCLA, Haas, Stanford, uh, Harvard and Wharton. So I started thinking about an MBA in, I want to say, 2003 or 2004 when I was a senior in college. I was a computer science major, but I decided to finish that early and, and picked up an economics minor, which I focused on my senior year. So I really wanted to be more on the business side mm -hmm. of technology than on the uh, development side. Cool. Um, and so an MBA was kind of out there, something I was thinking about, wasn't really sure if it made sense for me, but it was kind of always in the back of my head. And every year that went by working in industry mm -hmm. it became a more and more realistic opportunity. Uh, and finally, in the summer of 2008, I started, I started thinking more seriously about it. Mm -hmm. And I was probably very late on this curve. I started studying for the GMAT on Labor Day in 2008, mm -hmm. um, which I would not recommend. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's really when, it was basically Labor Day weekend, I said, I'm going to do this. And, really dedicated myself for the next four and a half, five months to the process. So I, I have many approaches that I use and I can kind of walk through each of those. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's hard to take someone else's approach and just run with that, but, and so, or maybe that's just for me. So for me, I think I learned from my mistakes a lot. Yeah. Um, so my initial approach was do as many problems as I can get as many practice problems under my belt as possible, do a lot of practice tests, pull from every source, mm -hmm. and just volume, volume, volume. Mm -hmm. And so I did that for, I think I put a good six weeks in, and I took the GMAT in mid-October. And I was you know, pretty freaked out by the whole testing center, right? You have to take your fingerprints and put all your things in a locker, nothing in your pockets, and <laughs> you're staring at a wall between two little cubicle things for four hours. And I think by the by the time the the, the uh, verbal section started, my brain was just so fried. I, I did not have the stamina. Like I, I just had not built that up yet. And yeah. I think it was just so new and so awkward being in there. Yeah. Um, and so I wasn't happy with my score. Um, and then kind of unique to my situation, but I think that everybody has some sort of this element. I was playing. Um, I think a week after the GMAT, and I scheduled it. 
for mid-November. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of three weeks out from retaking it. I was feeling much better about this. Uh, I broke my finger playing football. I oh. had a surgery on it. And so I was in a cast, couldn't type, couldn't really focus on anything MBA related for yeah. five, six weeks. And so not only was I way behind the curve, but I had a, you know, a five week vacation yeah. in the middle, which was completely unexpected. So yeah. always plan for, you know, the, the black swan basically, right? Yeah. Like, who knew that I would get hurt playing flag football and it would derail everything. Um, and so once I, so I, I started looking at a lot of forums to, to figure out how other people are studying and kind of the mechanics. Mm -hmm. There are a few tutors, I can't remember their names specifically, but they would really hammer on the point when people would ask questions on posts and mm -hmm. say, people would go through their approach and some of these tutors would say, look guys, it's not about getting it right or wrong, it's not about doing it fast, it's about really internalizing the concepts mm -hmm. from each question. So every time you do a question, you should learn or be able to reiterate some sort of tactic, some sort of pattern recognition that you can apply going forward. Mm -hmm. And if you get it right because you guess, or you get it right because you know you, you, you picked the wrong answer that you thought was right and messed up, you don't learn anything, you don't gain at all. And so that was kind of a 180 for me that, that once I was able to get back into studying mode again, mm -hmm. um, I took that approach of going very slowly, uh, taking high quality problems from the official mm -hmm. GMAT books, um, you know, really, you know, spending 10 minutes on a problem instead of one minute, mm -hmm. and just, you know, being able to explain it to anybody, any other GMAT test taker, how I approach that problem and what I would do if I saw it again. Mm -hmm. um, and so I finally took the GMAT again while working on all of my applications since I applied round two. Mm -hmm. I took it December 29th, and luckily I was very satisfied with my score. Um, and then I'd wrap up the rest of my essays the next few days, and then that was it. But cool. I would never recommend that strategy <laughs> to anyone.